Ready Doug Zekrom here, and what you guys just witnessed was the second trailer we've seen of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So we're just going to go through it here, and here's Pikachu, and here's the new Hoenn region map, and they're just showing footage from yesterday, E3, here's an intro with Beautifly in the beginning, uh, Mock Bike, Arco Bike, May challenging you to a battle, and then they go on to the Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip scene where you can choose your Pokemon. You got Trico, showing off Trico using Energy Ball against Mudkip. This is just a battle scene, just showing off the Megas and stuff. Mega Evolving Sceptile, here's Mega Sceptile for the first time. Well, not the first time, but Mega Sceptile. Now, if you notice, his tail goes away. I think that's just a graphical glitch, but anyway, they're bringing back Mega Blaziken. Which is interesting, uh, they'll probably have the Mega Stone in the game, they'll probably do what they did with the beginning, with, um, Sycamore will give you the stones when you choose, uh, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, etc. But I find it interesting that they're using, uh, Brave Bird, I thought they would use, like, Blaze Kick or something, I don't know. Anyway, here's, uh, Mudkip, he's using his little, uh, move, and then they go Swampert, you're gonna show Mega Swampert here, and, uh, they show him using, um, Hammer Arm. Which I find interesting, I love his intro too, he just wiggles, ah! They show him using Hammer Arm against Blaziken. And Team Magma and Team Aqua, they look really good. Uh, and here's our first footage in-game footage of Primal uh, Groudon and Primal Kyogre. Uh, they have their own signature moves now. Primal Groudon is now Ground Fire type, which has been long awaited, and Primal Kyogre stays the same. And then after the release date, they show Mega Diancy, which is interesting because, as you guys saw, Diancy's in... X and Y, which will be a, a distribution soon, but Mega Diancy's stone at the bottom, you can see, is obtained in X and Y. So, I don't know what they're going to do there. I mean, it's probably, it's like a giant cross promotion, but we're going to watch it again, we're going to go through it, but uh, I'm kind of not going to talk about kind of am. Anyway, um, after all, after this last uh, showing, um, I'm going to uh, go through screenshots uh, from the game released on Cerebee, which I will link in the description, and, uh, but yeah, they're going through again, and, uh, here's some more, again, the footage, but, uh, just, I'm, the screenshots I looked at, they were pretty good, they looked freaking amazing, I recorded, I recorded the screenshot thing before I recorded this, so, I already saw them, but you'll see my reactions in there, but, um, you know, I might actually put the screenshots first, no, I'll leave them after, but anyway, um, <clears throat> Some more just footage again, but like I said, I found it interesting that they decided to show off Brave Bird here for Mega Blaziken. We've already seen him. He's pretty cool. Um, I wonder if they're going to change any, like, uh, stats or anything in these guys, like, fast Megas into this game or not. I don't know. I wonder how they're going to incorporate all the Megas. Um, anyway, I wonder if you're going to have to get the stones after or before, like, if it's post-game or during the game. Anyway, some more Mega Swampert footage, and... The Magma and Aqua members just look really good. My opinion, I love Primal Cry uh, Groudon and Primal Kyogre. Looks like Primal Groudon's using some form of, like, what might be a Fire Ground type move. Because if you guys remember how Lucha had the Fighting Flying move, Flying Press, they might bring back dual type moves, and that might be a Fire Ground type move. Like, uh, I don't know, like some form of Eruption or something. Or maybe it is Eruption. That could be Eruption's new thing. I don't think so, though. Probably a Ground Fire thing. But anyway, here's Mega Diancy. Probably still Rock Fairy using Dazzling Gleam. Looks really good. Really good. Distribution details coming soon, guys. Mega Evolved Diancy, and that's it for me. Talk to you guys later. Hello, everybody. Dark Zekrom here. And uh, these are the screenshots that I don't want to go through. They're on Cerebi.net. As you guys obviously know, we, Cerebi's a pretty popular website, so everyone should know. But there are some interesting screenshots I want to go through, like this one. This one, it looks like it's Rustaboro City's gym. I mean, look at this. There's the trainer in front. I think he's new, I don't remember, I don't know who he would be in the original game, but this is Rustaboro City, um, this is your character, this is my male main character, Brendan, this is in front of Roxanne's gym, and it just, that looks, looks amazing, and here, this seems to be, oh wow, this is the inside of Rustaboro, this is the first time I've seen these screenshots, so I'm gonna have the same reaction as you guys, but look at this, this is the new Rustaboro City gym, you got, wow, you got Kaboo Tops, and you got, um, Lily, and, uh, I'm not sure who that is, but he's got fossils. This looks really good. It's like a museum. It kind of like reminds me of uh, Nat Green City's gym from Black and White. I'm pretty sure it was Nat Green City. And then you got the badge case after you get Roxanne's badge. That looks really good now. Um, you got more in-game footage, all that crap, all the good Libby crap. I almost said that again. <laughs> oh, wow, this is the new... Uh, wow, look at that. It's the new uh, Pokédex registration. That looks nice. Here's the new Pokédex. 
Oh, they went back to the, um... Wow, they went back to the old Pokedex from Ruby and Sapphire. This looks really, really good. Wow. Uh, what's else so good? Looks like, oh, Evolution? <gasps> wow, they changed Evolution up. Look. Look at this. Wow, that looks so good. There's the Pokeball in the background and the lighting effect. Wow, that looks really good. Here's some more footage of um, Mega's uh, Mega Sceptile. This is actually just Sceptile attacking Swampert with Leaf Blade. And then here's Mega Sceptile. Mega Sceptile again. Here's Mega Sceptile one more time. And then here's another thing I noticed. Um, probably, I think I mentioned this in the trailer, but look. His tail's gone. I think that he either attacks it, it's kind of like a dart, and shoots it, or that's just a graphical glitch. I think it's just a graphical glitch. So if you look here, it's, it's like somewhat back. Anyway, show Mega Blaziken, which I found interesting. Probably much just in some trailer. Uh, I found interesting that um, they use Brave Bird. Anyway, that's besides the point. There's more footage of the Megas. Here's Mega Swamp Hurt, the side view, the forward view. That looks really good. Wow, Mega Swampert looks nice. Um, oh, the bag where you choose a Pokemon. That looks good. Ordale Town. Wow, they really revamped these Pokemon centers. These look really good. They're doing a, such a good job. Oh, wow, this is hopping out of the back of the minivan or the moving truck. Wow, look at that, guys. That looks great. And we scroll down here, and there's some Team Magma hideout footage. Oh, no, this is... um. Oh, what are, where is this? Oh, this is that uh, mountain, Mount Pyre, I think. Not Mount Pyre. This is that mountain, Mount Ember. Mount. I don't remember off the top of my head. Some Team Aqua Grunts. The male. The male again. Uh, messed up footage. All right. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, more dialogue. They went back to the old... Um, what's it called? They went back to the old uh, text boxes. They look really good. Male character female character. Um, Mega Diancy using uh, Dazzling Gleam. That's Arco Bike. More Mega Diancy. And then, where was it? These. These are really nice. I'm not sure where this cave is. Oh, so this is in um, the Duford Cave, because this is the first time you meet Steven. I'm pretty sure. I just some rare stones, so I travel here and there, and then this is the route where he gives you the uh, Devon scope and you get Kecleon. I wonder if that's coming back. If that comes back, that's gonna be amazing in 3D. Um, some more Mega Sableye in Japanese, Mega Sableye. Looks really good. Oh, the back he still has the Ruby and Sapphire. Hmm, that might uh, that might go this here. My theory about the uh, Ruby and Sapphire changing color and being yeah, you know, from last video. I'll link that too. But uh, I also wanted to go back to the news page and show you where it said it, where it said it, where it said it, it, said it yesterday, here. Um, it said that Mega Sableye uses the jewels as a powerful defensive tool in battle. From behind the shelter, the jewel can rarely exploit the opponent's weakness and take advantage of any openings. It said that the jewel hardened to such strength that no attack can even make a scratch. So that was just some more Mega Sableye stuff. They showed Mega Diancy, as you guys saw. Like a Sceptile right here. This game just looks so so good. I'm so pumped for this game, guys. And I can't wait for even more. But yeah, so that's going to be it. And I'll see you guys next time.